Hello Internet, Syriac here, and today I'm going to be talking about Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. In particular, I, this is going to be part of my series that I'm going to call Game Explained, and the purpose of this is to show people the basics of how to play certain games. Um, it's not going to be pro-level strategies or build orders and things like that. What it's mainly designed to do is to give people a more rounded knowledge of the game so that they can better take advantage of it and thus have more fun. So, without further ado, I'm going to head into skirmish mode here. And I have already got this game set up so that it's in sandbox victory conditions so that I can just build in whatever order and nothing's going to attack me. It's mainly I want to show you a few things about it. But um, I'll get into a different tutorial show, uh, or a how-to I guess. I will show more of the setups, mods, managers, and things like that. But today we're going to do some of the basics of the gameplay. Because most people when they get the game, they just want to jump right in and get an idea of how the game is played. So, once you start the game, depending on the race you've chosen, and in this case I've chosen Cybern, you are given a command unit. Now, uh, I'd like to draw attention because I'm going to be talking about it for quite a bit. I have my mini map over here, which you can resize, move around, or just remove altogether. Um, below that, when I mouse over units, you'll see that a box appears over here, just just beneath it, and it says, in case you can't read it, uh, it says Syriac, which that's me. That's who owns this unit. It's an armored command unit. And below that it shows a health bar, and the numbers are overlaid over top of it of how much health he has. And beneath that, there is a symbol, which corresponds to the symbols up in the top left corner here. The green one with uh, kind of a semicircle on top, a dot in the center, and a smaller semicircle on the bottom. That's your mass generation, um, or the mass requirement and according to this it says plus one so this commander merely by being here on this map is producing one mass and that's where this number comes from the ep economic uh, mass rate is at 100 percent uh, I'm going to deal with the specifics the numbers themselves to be quite honest I find the percentages to be too, 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 uh, too general I like to know whether or not I'm going to have it to an exact number, so that's what I'll be talking about mostly today. Um, so the power symbol, the uh, lightning bolt with a in, inside a circle that's uh, yellow, yellowish orange, is plus 20. So again, simply by having a commander on the field, he is giving me 20 energy per tick, and a tick is a game. A, an elapsed amount of time in game. Alright, so another thing to keep in mind is storage. Uh, this one isn't, uh, it's not as obvious I guess. Your storage, your mass storage right now is at 650 and the energy storage is at 4000. What that means is if I begin to build something, and let's look at those numbers again, down here below my uh, below my mini map, I'm going to be selecting a power generator or mousing over it, and you can see it's a Tech One building called a power generator. The build cost and the rate are are listed down below. Um, also, the amount of time, the estimated time that it will take to com for this unit to complete that building. Um, is down below the the uh, the thumbnail of the building itself. So it estimates that it would take 12 seconds to build a power generator with this unit. Uh, the build cost is 75 total mass. Well, we have 650 mass in the bank, so it's not exactly going to take just instantly 75 mass away from our 650 and bam, we got a power generator. What it's going to do is take that over time, over that 12 seconds, it's going to take 6 mass per tick, or however much game time that is. 6 mass every time it ticks will, will be removed until it reaches the 75 mass. 
the energy is 750 energy is needed in total to create this building uh, at a rate of 60 per tick. Well, we are only gaining 20 energy per tick with our commander. So, we're going to go into the, go into the negative if we were to build this, but we have 4,000 stored up. So, as long as you have the stores, then you won't run out and th thus be slowed. So, this is not how you would normally begin, uh, again, uh, how you would start building. Most people will open with a factory, some people open with a mass extractor. I am simply showing you the basics of the uh, resource allocation so that you don't end up locked and out of resources. So again, we should expect to see minus 6 on our mass and minus 60 on our energy. So let's go ahead and place this off away from everything else. Now we see a minus 6 up here and a minus 60 here. We had plus 20, now it's minus 40. We only had plus 1, so now it's minus 5. So, it didn't lie. That's exactly what it required. So, we are now, you, as you can see, these bars are not filled up completely. Um, they will continue to, as long as they're in the plus, they will eventually come back. This one's up to 600 from 650. So you can see where if you have a surplus stored up, you could build a few buildings here and there, and, and uh, even if you didn't have a good enough rate incoming. So what I just did was I selected a mass extractor. It's supposed to take six seconds, appeared to, and it's supposed to pull minus six mass as a rate for a total of 36, and minus 60 energy. Um, now, these buildings uh, they actually do things as well. So if you hover over them, again, it's going to show up here but beneath my uh, mini-map. So if I hover over that power generator we created in the, fir the first place, it gives an additional plus 20 to your energy. And so now we're, we're looking at, if, if you'll notice, we originally had plus 20 from the commander, plus 20 from the power generator, but we're only at plus 38. Reason being is we also made this mass extractor. Well, the Tech 1 mass extractor gives you plus 2 to, met to metal income, but minus 2 to your energy income. Or So we end up with a total of 38 instead of 40 because the 2 has to go to here in order to produce the extra 2 for your mass. So Think of it, even though it's not an energy converter, um, because there are uh, fabricators that you can make later in the higher tiers that will basically take whopping amounts of energy and transform them into moderate amounts of mass. Um, these are the most efficient way to extract and get metal. Now, there are ways to make them more efficient, but I will cover that in another episode. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to build, and I will build single, one at a time. Uh, again, I will show in another how to, how to uh, chain multiple builds so that you're not having to spend all your time individually microing each, sing, each and every engineer or each and every unit one by one by one. This game has nearly limitless ways that you can manage the build orders and locations for your uh, well for your units your buildings and the play styles benefit from it greatly this game uh, again command and conquer um, yeah command and conquer sorry supreme commander forged alliance and I was about to make a uh, comparison to Command and Conquer, which is why I made that slip up. Uh, Command and Conquer was how I got into RTS games in the first place. Um, I followed the franchise for many years through different different games and the different play styles that each one came, came 
came up with. And in, in those games, you had you started with a base structure for the most part, and uh, that main base, the main construction facility. And then from that construction facility, you could produce um, more buildings around you, or you could uh, create uh, harvesting units that go out and get the resources for you. In this one, uh, your command units can do pretty much... Uh, pretty much whatever you need them to do. They can become uh, builders that are uh, much better at their tasks than just the base unit of the armored command unit. Uh, you can increase their their weapon ranges and damages. Uh, you can give them uh, various tactical abilities such as the stealth, stealth generator, excuse me. Um, increase the resource that they generate, as we were talking about, they produce plus one mass and plus twenty energy. Well, if you use the resource allocation system, that will increase the amount that it can actually give you. Of course, it costs a small fortune, but eventually, if you do things correctly, you will get to uh, get to those levels. So, you may be wondering why I created a plus sign of uh, power generators here and uh, I like it has the grid system here so you can see where it is you would like to place things in relation to other things uh, make sure, and then you can also make sure that you're not leaving too small a space if you did want to space things out there's still enough room to put a 2 by 2 or um, yeah these I believe these are 2 by 2's um, the wall sections they tend they don't place the same way as a lot of the other things like a turret also places the same way as those. Um, they seem to place on the middle. Like if you were to anticipate this or envision this to be a grid, um, these things place. They can place on the half line or on the whole line. You know. So this this I imagine is a two by two building because of that. Well, these these things, the point defense, the air turret, and the wall section, all place on the half line. So there will be a half a line space between this wall section and the thing that you're placing it next to. It won't butt directly up against it because it actually builds on that line. You see what I'm saying? It turns red to show that you can't place it, but it's it's following right along that line. Now if I move it out one more, now you can place it. So back to the resource generation here. So we have four mass extractors and four power generators plus our command unit at this point. We are now in with an income of plus nine to our mass and plus ninety two. So again this is not the correct build order as most people will play this. I'm just showing you the rates and build costs. Now this is going to cost a total cost of two hundred and forty metal. So that would take a big chunk out of our stores, but we are gaining plus nine. This, the rate that this is going to pull out is only minus eight. So even though it does cost 240 total metal, it's not even going to make a dent into our reserves. Now for the met, the metal, same thing will go for the energy. 2100 energy, which would be more than half of the energy that we actually have up there. If you were to just go by the numbers, we have 4,000 in storage. Well, because we have enough power generated from both the, the commander and these power generators, where it is giving us plus 92, this land factory only costs minus 70 per tick. So it sh theoretically, should this this should work. We should come over here, place this building, and there you go. We are still gaining plus one to our metal, plus twenty-two to our energy. Now ideally, I'm wasting that. That that mass and that energy is being wasted right now. There's nowhere it's it every tick that goes by, there's nowhere to store it, so it just gets lost. Now uh, good players will will balance somewhere in the middle. They're never up quite up to the top. Uh, um, Energy is pretty tough to do that with, but they're never. Mass is a better indicator for that. They're never quite up to the top on that. So now you'll see I put this uh, land factory down, and now we have more storage. We're up to 730. Where it tells you that this is going to provide storage, 
again if you mouse over it you can see how much storage it'll be when it's finished uh, that land factory it says that it was supposed to take 30 seconds it was pretty close to that if not exact and we already talked about the mass and energy uh, drain now if you'll see off to the right there there's a little bit um, each each unit or each building will have different things that it will tell you about it the plus sign indicates how much health that 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 building or unit will have when it's made yield will tell you how much uh, draw or gain you will get from that unit so again back to that mass extractor you'll see that it says yield plus two actually just says two uh, if it's green it's typically a plus and minus two to energy so even before we put that down we're, we're, we can know that we are going to what we're going to get out of that building once we place it uh, the same thing with this land factory here now it says storage 80 for metal zero for energy so that is why our mass storage went up so we you saw that it ticked down and it, there was a part of it missing and then it filled slowly back up so during that time it was filling back up that was mass we weren't wasting now in your land factory or whatever you built uh, of the uh, land air or naval you always have the option to make an engineer and then you have the option to create the uh, the other units which are almost exclusively combat or or, or scouting units um, and you also have the option to upgrade your factory to the next level of technology um, I'm going to go ahead and do that as I do have the resources to do that right now but uh, again it's not recommended it, this is not a play style this is more of an explanation of how and where things work now what we're gonna gain from this right now this land factory has 4200 health if we upgrade it it will have 7800 health which will definitely help it in case of a, a rush attack or or just in general as gameplay advances those units are going to be a lot tougher that come and hit you at tier 2 and tier 3 and they're gonna do more damage so your buildings are gonna need to be toughened up a bit same thing with the mass extractors you can upgrade them to tech level 2 and well, again I will get into that but if I hover over again hover over this icon it tells you upgradable well it constructs tech 2 land units and at tech 2 it's also upgradable okay so we will go from 80 storage to 160 storage for our mass and to do this it will take a minute and 20 seconds minus 10 to your mass income and minus 90 to your energy income well that's gonna put us in the negative on the mass at one per tick for a total of a, a minute 20 and we will not go into the negative on the energy so let's go ahead and click that and there you go plus two left on our income and you can see here every tick or every second that you'll see one being subtracted from our total store the rest was subtracted from our income first so we are at a plus nine income but we're at a minus ten expense so to make up that missing one it pulls it from our storage and this is by no means going to cripple us and I will again I will I will get to that point in just a moment now even in the game's own instructions now you'll see that this is continuing to pull things now if I were to take this commander and I wanted to continue to produce things so we're gonna produce this at another minus six and another minus sixty minus six mass and minus sixty energy now we're at a negative seven per tick until until one of these finishes it's going to continue to draw at minus seven and energy will continue to draw at minus fifty eight well this finished when it did finish being a power generator it's also now producing twenty twenty energy back so you'll see this fill up much quicker than the plus two that it was filling up before now we're up to twenty two so this factory just finished so we are now up to 810 total storage that we can have and we're back to our plus nine 
energy is all the way up to plus 112 because of the new power generator. Now, here's some common problems. First thing we're going to do is create our engineer. And again, a minus 8 for the mass and minus 42 for the energy. So it didn't even make a dent in what we got going on here. But I'm going to show you a couple of things that players often do that will get you into trouble at least with your building. So I have my my Tech 2 engineer and I've been focusing very heavily around my base area here. I'm not going to get into territory grabs, scouting and things like that in this one. So what I've done is I've queued up several of these engineers. This one plus two others and the factory will continue to produce them at the rate that they cost. So minus 8 to mass, minus 42 to energy which is not going to break the bank here. Um, I'm going to, for my own convenience, make him Team 2, and I will get into how that works later on. Now, let's let's use him as though he were a Tech 1 guy. So, Tech 1, let's say he wants to create this hydrocarbon power plant. Well, what do we benefit from that? Takes 40 seconds, pulls minus 4 to mass, minus 20 to energy, but it yields 100 energy per per tick. Seems like a pretty good deal but you can only place them on these locations, these rectangular power icons. So he will go ahead and start doing that. While he's doing that, let's go ahead and, you know what, let's build an engineering station. Minus 5 to metal per second, minus 27 to energy. So this guy's going to do that. Let's call him 3. And you know what, uh, let's make a mass fabricator. A mass fabricator should be pulling minus 2 to mass, minus 80 to energy. Now, you'll start to notice that uh, energy is dwindling. So, okay, while that's happening, we're, we're about to be attacked, so we, we need some units. Let's get some tanks rolling out here. Actually, let's go for the heavy, heavy tanks here. So we got the heavy tanks going to be rolling out soon. Now, 2 is all finished with his job. Let's start on a power generator. Now what I'm going to be showing you here is that our mass is starting to drop at a, at a rate of minus 13. Okay, so I've got, which is fine for now because we have 500 plus in our reserves. So what you're going to start seeing, especially once this fabricator is finished, is this this up here is going to continue to produce our heavy tanks. I just told it to produce an infinite number of whatever's in the queue. So it's going to continue to build heavy tanks and uh, let's see, uh, mobile AA flak. Maybe I got some planes that are being a little bit pesky knocking down our mass extractors. So everybody's working on this. You know what? Oh man, our mass is getting low. So first instinct Let's hit this mass extractor. Let's get it leveled up so that we get to tech level 2 and when that happens we'll get more mass out of it. Well, it costs mass to get this upgraded. So now we're pulling at minus 17. Oh, we just ran out. Now everything is just hovering at about the same level. So what you can do, we need this mass extractor to get up, let's say, or or perhaps the the planes are the bigger threat right now maybe we don't need this energy uh, want to be finished react to what's going on in your game there's no right way to do this but here are some of your options so our little guy over here making the power the tech 2 power generator who I've called team 2 I'm gonna come down here and pause his construction of this building when he pauses it will cease gaining health. He stops with all his his build orders and he will just wait there. When when we did that, this went from minus 13 down to minus 11. So it's no longer costing us as much. Well, all right, we've we've managed to stop the invasion. All right? We're no longer we're no, we're no longer losing as much to uh to the invasion forces here. So, What's happening is the engineering drone is continuing to build it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell him to stop doing that. Okay. So now, even though this is still upgrading, 
we're no longer losing. We're not. We're no. This thing is not trying to pull minus eight metal out of a pool where everyone else is trying is pulling it too. It's going to take a lot longer for that to to finish if you do that. So even though we are at pl at uh, plus zero, we're not in the negative right now. So this will finish much quicker. So when it finishes, it's now tech two. It now produces six metal and drains nine energy. Well, we've got plenty of energy for it to drain for now, but now we've got a good amount of mass. And in the time that it takes me to come over here, unpause this guy and allow him to go back to work, it's gained 250 metal back into our reserves. So now we come back over here. Maybe that the pressure is back on. We need our units to start rolling out again. We're going to unpause that. Now we're losing 50 energy per tick, but we are not losing any mass. So just that one upgrade to a Tech 2 mass extractor, or ceasing the operations of production on something can help. So we are pu we're losing 50 energy per tick. So we're going to come over here and we're going to turn off this mass fabricator. Now we're up to we got we are now losing mass again because this was producing plus one, which was what was keeping us at zero. But we are now regaining all our energy, which is at a much higher rate than we were losing it before. So another thing to keep in mind is, and again, I'll cover this more in another, another section, but buildings in this game react and interact with one another. You saw that this engineering station, or maybe perhaps you didn't, you saw that this engineering station was helping to build the units that were coming out of that land factory. And that's fine, but what it's doing is altering this, this build. And what I mean is, this heavy tank is supposed to take 22 seconds at a rate of 9 metal per, per tick and 45 energy per tick. Well, when this engineering bot comes over and attempts to assist, which we'll go ahead and do now. It will fly out and it will come over and help build this, I suppose, first. And then once this once this starts to build, you'll see this bot come out and it comes over and attempts to help. Well, if you'll click on the engineering station, you can see that it's now pulling an additional three metal and minus 16 energy. So it's taking that extra amount out of your income or reserves and applying it in order to speed this heavy tank out faster than that 22 seconds it would have taken the factory to build it in the first place. So if you're looking for speed, if you've got the resources for it, by all means, take either engineering stations or engineers themselves. You can have your commander. Um, let's send everybody over. So these tanks that were once taking 22 seconds apiece will now be bolstered by each of these units that I put on and they will drain from primarily your, your rate and then if your rate isn't high enough from your reserves until you hit zero and at which point it's pointless to attempt to speed it up because you can't go faster than your income at that point. So once you build up reserves and then you can spend those reserves later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all those off and I'm going to turn off that engineering bay so that everything is operating at its normal rate. And then we're going to come over here to this mass fabricator and I w I'd like to show you what it is I meant earlier. And let me finish one more. Well, no. No, I won't. We're going to turn on the mass fabricator and then we're going to hover over it. This mass fabricator is now producing one metal and it's pulling minus one, two, one to energy. So let's go ahead and put another little power generator, this tech one power generator next to it. And we'll keep our keep my mouse here hovered over the mass fabricator. So when the power generator finishes, you'll see a line attach that generator to the fabricator. And that's just indicating to you that these two buildings are now linked. This fabricator is now only pulling minus 112 energy instead of the 121 energy. So by producing this power generator, which 
does which produces the 20 energy per tick regardless of where you put it um, that's what it produces minimum it also because you built it next to a mass fabricator reduced the upkeep cost of that fabricator so you get a double bon double benefit from putting it next to it um, now, of course, both of these things are volatile, and they can both explode, and so so forth, but you get the idea. So now we are generating plus 628 energy, and plus, well, it looks like plus 15 at the moment, but I believe when it's running, yes, when that, when that uh, factory is running, we're only gaining plus 7 to our economic uh, income for mass. So... We have the Tech 2 power generator is producing 500 energy, and the Tech 1 hydrocarbon plant is producing 100 energy. So we have a pretty big surplus of energy right now, and we we keep hovering around a uh, uh, half dozen mass income. So what we can do is we'll take one of these Tech 2 guys, we can slap another fabricator in if we want to. Um, now while that's building, again, uh, we can speed that up because we have all these reserves even though it's going to adversely affect the draw from our uh, our rate they'll still get it done quicker and it not too big a, a negative here so there it is it's basically the same thing I was showing you here it's a fabricator surrounded by four linked power generators of tech level one and by the way that does work if you to were to take oops wrong guy if you were to take a mass fabricator and put it against a tech level two power generator it's going to provide a much better bonus than a tech level one power generator and same thing with a tech level two scales upwards. So, now we have a Tech 2 mass extractor here, and we have a Tech 1 mass extractor here. So, what we're going to do is hover over this upgradable section down here, this icon, it, and we're going to upgrade to a Tech Level 2. To do that, it's going to pull 10 mass 60 energy. So again, this, the energy is not even going to be a problem. We've got plenty of that. We're gaining 800 per tick and losing 340 for or 300 at the moment. Uh, the 40 is coming from the production of the flak artillery. So now you'll notice that a small army is building up over here. It's not a very uh, diverse army, but it's an army nonetheless with you having to do nothing except click this click three buttons inside this factory and then pay attention to your your ratios and your incomes so you'll see that there's a a yellow bar that slowly fills up and that is an indicator of the percentage you'll see down again below the mini map you'll see a a wrench inside a uh, what look, appears to be a gear below that it tells you the percentage that's actually finished of the upgrade so it's 69 70 71 so it's it's moving along at a rate of minus 8 just like it said and minus 62 for energy so it's got 600 total health right now and I'll come back to it in a minute to show you the total that it's supposed to have but we can also look at another extractor and that will tell us it should have 3,000 uh, total health when it finishes which is going to survive those pesky bombing runs a lot better than the 600 health that the Tech 1 has so there it is Tech level 2 mass extractor has 3,000 hit points perfect now we're gaining at plus 11 even while the factory is running so now we're gaining at plus 19 when it's not there goes the flak artillery and the uh, now it's at plus 10 instead of plus 11 we are building a heavy tank next so you can see where this can start to scale up and that's that's pretty much the name of this game scale things up ramp things up macro as much as you can to get a good enough economy where you can support the production of unfathomable amounts of units as far as most RTS's are concerned this game if your computers can handle it and your connections can handle it, this thing will easily field 8,000 units on the on the board 
and smile at you while you do it. So this this game, it uh, I've seen it described too many times as a game where they pick it up, they attempt to play it like they would, uh, and not to pick on Command and Conquer, but again, it's where I started with RTSs. A lot of people did. Um, I mean, you may go back as far as Dune. Um, just name your RTS uh, series, your Company of Heroes series, which I, which I may get into is a different one as well. Um, they have they have subtle differences that... Uh, Alright, here we go. If you've ever played Total Annihilation, you'll get this game. You'll pick it up, you'll play it, you'll understand it immediately. Uh, but what I've heard from a lot of people is they'll pick this up, they try to do things, uh, they'll take that commander, and they'll they'll put down their 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 guys, and then they'll take these engineers and they they send them out to go try to collect resources because that's a, uh, that is something they can do. But it's not something it's that's not the only function they're supposed to do. You can then produce buildings, um, point defense, um, various various things that you can do with them. And what they'll end up doing is they'll they'll get murdered by either the AI or other players. And immediately, this game is lame. They'll put it down. They won't touch it for four years. And then one day they're bored. They've run out of games. They said, "Ah, eh, let me see, let me see if I can play this again." They'll pick it up and they'll they'll start to actually pay attention to it. Maybe run through a few tutorials. Hey, maybe maybe you can be that person. You might be here trying to find out more about this game that's been sitting on your shelf for two years. Well, good for you for one, because I promise you, if you take the time to learn this game and learn some of these these subtle and very basic things that you may not have known because other RTSs don't focus on them as much, you will have a much more involved and rich gaming experience from these games. And if you don't end up liking the game, you'll still appreciate it for what it is. So. I guess that pretty much covers what I wanted to cover as far as the basics. Um, there's one other thing I might want to cover here, and that's that the Tech 2 guys can also produce um, energy storage and mass storage. And those two things link with, correspondingly, your energy storage links with power, and your mass storage links with mass. I know, it's it's tough stuff, guys, but you'd be surprised. Um, you might not realize it, especially if you build these uh, next to a Tech 1 building. You might not see, you might not even pay attention to it, but when these things finish, what we're going to find here is that you're going to increase the efficiency of the buildings next to them. So we have finished an energy storage facility here. You can see that it's linked with the building next to it, to the right, and the building on top of it. These are both power generators, so now if we hover over them, instead of the plus 20 that they normally produce, they are producing plus 22. Not only that, but we gained more energy storage when we built that. And same thing goes for these mass storages. Now we've gained a more of a total that we can store. So did you see that? It went from 1400 to 19... actually it went from 1450 to 1950. So we gained an extra, what, 500 storage by producing one of these mass storage facilities. Not only that, but when you can see that they're linked to this mass extractor, when two of them are connected to a Tech 2 mass extractor, we gained one additional mass. Now we're up to plus eight in our per tick that we are gaining in the rate. Not just plus one is added to our storage, plus one is added to our income rate. And that's the that's the biggest thing that I that I find that people don't get the uh, get the difference between. Your income rate and your storage are two different things. Your storage is just a surplus. Picture it like your pantry. If you had three apples that came in your door every minute and you had to find a place to put them. Maybe you had three three guests over, each of them eat an apple per hour. Okay. You give three apples come in your door, you hand one apple to each person, you you don't store any apples. Well, they're not hungry next hour. They're still eating their apples. 
So three more apples come in your door, you put them on your shelf. You, know, you now have three apples in storage. And the same thing goes with the mass and the energy. And I apologize if I'm being overly simplified here, but I can't stress enough that I'd like people to understand the core basis of this game um, and games like it. Um, if you can understand, if you understand the difference between your rate and your storage, your stores, you can do whatever you, you can do anything in this game, basically. So um, even if you're not a pro level, 300 APM, high micro player, you're still going to be able to do that. You can get your economy rolling. You can get large amounts of macro. And I did build this other facility over here, so now we can start pumping out tons of units from there and we'll turn this back on because we have the resources and so now you can see where if I've and by the way we are still in the positives here we're still gaining and storing and everything else so you can see where this game can ramp up pretty rapidly you can have you can field armies very quickly in this replenish them if lost and um, my uh, unit count right now is at 76 of a thousand so <laughs> sky's the limit <laughs> you know or the sea if you'd prefer naval units but uh, I think that's about it for the basics for this one if you have any specific questions about um, things please feel free to contact me um, there's ways to do so on my channel uh, Syriac Gaming YouTube um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, have fun out there guys